<laughs> something that, that I noticed had, um, had just popped into Canary. Um, I, I kind of knew there was plans for it, but I didn't realize how far along it was. And now it's in Canary, is Event Target. That's been a thing. That has been a thing. So Event Target is the thing that gives us uh, add. It's event, a horrible it? name, by the way, I think. A event Target, yeah. Um, because like the thing makes, Event Target makes a thing Something that can emit events. Well, Node calls it Event Emitter, <laughs> which is a better name, I agree. But yep. Event Target has been with us for like many, many years. And, uh, As so all we, the we, things on the web that are ill named usually uh, are. Yes, so we can't change it now. But that's like everything uh, that has a ad event listener inherits from. Uh, yeah, event and the thing is, it's usually something that you only see in the, in the specs. Like you said, you see like this new thing, it implements Event Target. Yes. And but it's not well, it actually. Extends, or extends, it extends. Or it extends, but yeah. you actually cannot extend it in your code. Until now. <laughs> Finally. Like, because if you've done anything with events before, yeah. um, like you've wanted your own pub sub or something kind of system, you end up thinking, well, I, I'll get a library or I'll write my own or something. Yeah. Like, usually and you end up with horrible hacks. And I was one of these people. Who wrote horrible hacks? Yeah, exactly. It's just just to repeat something that's already on the platform, it's a total violation of the extensible web. Yeah. Um, and so uh, people, I think it was Dominic Denicola, have uh, like got together and actually specced what the constructor looks like uh, and how you would extend it yeah. and how you would use it. And it's it's there now in in Canary. You can do new oh, event target. So good. You can do class whatever extends event target. And now you have add event listener. Now you have uh, dispatch events. You've got the whole Which is the, the only two thing. things you need. Right, exactly. Well, and this is the thing, that there's this kind of long-term plan that at some point we'll uh, replace add event listener, or not replace it, we'll, we'll enhance it with observables. Yes. I've, I've seen the, the, the current, like, I'm going to call it a scratch pad, because it's probably too early to call it an, even an explainer. Well, there's been loads, right? There's yeah. been loads of little, uh, yeah, lo loads of little ideas around this. But the, the kind of the, the central but agreement is that this should be how we do events. Things that can in do events should also be able to do observables, which is a stream of events. Stream but of be careful with that. R right, yes. But this means that you can, uh, like, if everyone starts using event target now, well, you know, once we get the, the support across the board, it means when uh, observables support do land. Across the board. Support across the board. That's a good catchphrase. <laughs> <laughs> Is that another jingle that we need? No, Maybe. Probably, probably not. Yeah, but then, then when observables land, that that you know you'll get those for free as well. That would be really, really good. It's, it's one of those things that kind of seems. We well, the thing forever, is, I, I'm not sure if the people listening slash watching are necessarily aware of what you have to do because the only things that extended event target that were tangible for you were DOM elements. Yes. Or message boards. Yes. As well, far as I know. There's lots of, well, things like um, navigator.serviceworker uh, extends event target. There's, there's lots of stuff. Yeah. yeah. But if so for example, I, the thing, I, I, I basically wrote a little tweet where I was like, oh, look, here's a nice way we can build your own event target. I would legit just create a message ch port, message channel, which mm. is to me message board, rip out one port. And it would have dispatch event and add event listener. And I will just bind these function to my own object. And suddenly, my object would be kind of Right. Like. That's a nice hack just and built around a very but small. It's still a hack. For example, event.target is always going to be wrong because it would be oh. the message port of the actual object I used. And this in the function would be wrong for the same reason, because that's yeah, event.target. Unless you bound this and your functions, or, um, you know, all yeah. these, it's just, and then a remove yeah. event listener wouldn't work. Again. You know, oh, unless you patch that for it. Yeah, OK. It yeah, was just horrible. Sense. And people were using it anyway because there was no other choice. And so it's so good that they finally came up with something. And, and yes, yeah. yes. It's just another thing in the browser that's exposed to the box, as, as it should have always been. Extensible web. It works. Just so you know, yeah. just uh, send us head in this. So I'll just punch it in and hit it. OK, that's what's good. Because it'll punch my face in. <laughs> <laughs>